Florida on fire. Flames ripped through an entire Polk County neighborhood, forcing hundreds out of their homes overnight. Good Saturday morning, everyone. I'm John Rogers. I'm Meredith Sensulo. Thank you so much for joining us. This morning, that fire continues to burn in Polk County's Indian Lake Estates, and there are, there's grim news for people living in that area. That's right. Hundreds of acres have been burned. A mandatory evacuation put in place overnight. Multiple homes have already been lost, and this morning, the flames are still burning. So let's get right out to News Channel 8's Mark Douglas. He's joining us live on the ground in Indian Lake Estates. Uh, Mark, have firefighters been able to get this under control at all overnight? Well, we're not really sure at this point, John. Now, we're waiting for a briefing in a short while. I can tell you at last report it was not under control. And the folks here at the entrance of Indian Lake Estates, uh, where you can see that police car back there, they're not letting uh, people get past that. They've been evacuated here, as you know, last night. Uh, some 800 homes back here, we understand, 800 acres. All of those folks uh, told to leave, forced to leave, and a number of them trying to get back in this morning. But the folks who are here at this uh, guard post tell me that uh, about an hour or two ago, there was an orange glow that covered the sky somewhere beyond here. Now, remember, this is an 800-acre area, and nobody is actively trying to fight this fire at this time of day. Uh, when I move over a little bit, here comes a car. Uh, I guess they're going to try to get in. Good luck with that. Uh, might be another resident. A lot of worried residents. These folks over here have a couple dogs back in there. They've been gone all day yesterday. Got back last night, couldn't get in. So there's a lot of concern and worry here. And uh, let me give you an idea of what we're talking about here. Uh, this is what firefighters are dealing with, a number of brush fires uh, burning out of control last night at the very least, and occasionally threatening the scattered homes inside this sprawling Indian Lake Estates area, some 800 acres, a lot of brush, scattered homes in there. Fire investigators suspect arson is at the root of all of this, and there is now a $5,000 reward for information in that regard. This is what Sheriff Grady Judd had to say about all of this last night. If someone is setting these fires, we will find out who they are, and we will put them in jail. That's a promise. Now, as uh, daylight approaches, we hope to find out more about the progress of the fires. There will be a briefing later this morning. At, initially, they said there would be a briefing at 6.30 in about uh, 22 minutes, uh, 27 minutes from now. Now they tell me 8 o'clock. We were in there uh, beyond this perimeter where the fire departments uh, have set up a, a, a command post, if you will. It looks, frankly, like they're sleeping. There's no activity there. There's a lot of trucks around there. So we're, we're waiting like everybody else, like these folks who live here, patiently waiting for information. Now, I will tell you, uh, oddly enough, when we drove in here uh, farther down the road, maybe 100 yards or so, we saw a lot of people stacked up, uh, you know, camped out, if you will, and uh, we, we thought they were evacuees initially. But oddly enough, all of those folks next to this restaurant here at the entrance are here for a barbecue contest. They've come from as far away as Vero Beach, maybe even beyond. So these folks literally have their smokers out. They brought smoke to a fire, and boy, were they surprised yesterday when they got here and saw all the smoke coming from this brush fire. So not to make light of it, it's a very serious situation. Uh, we do understand some homes have been damaged. Uh, uh, we don't know how uh, much they've been damaged. We know some sheds have gone up in flames. And again, authorities do suspect arson in this situation, John. Wow, incredibly ironic. And also, it's important to note that the sheriff said that they want people to stay away from this area. You have onlookers coming in to go take a look. So stay away, heed the mandatory warnings, and we'll learn more as the developments come on later today. So Mark Douglas, live in Polk County. Thank you very much.